Only of all praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakakodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of James, <coughs> the men who lead us in this truth. Salutations to the sincere Akim out there pushing his word, you know, in, a <coughs> in all honesty and in all diligence, you know, working for that crown, for that penny a day, you know, for that reward from our Lord. All right now, a recent video that, um, that was done by the Apostle Gabar, you know, on, um, on the title Elder, which was also, um, a video was also done in response to that by the Apostle um, Elder Tahar, right? And I believe, you know, the Apostle Rhyme Lab did a video, Listen Up, you know, which um, another camp leader, um, ca ca um, the brother Z Zayan, you know, did, did um, a response to that, you know, and basically the Spirit is showing that there are a lot of men who are offended, you know, by this um by this new decree. You know, there are a lot of men whose pride have been hurt, you know, and also, you know, due to the fact that, you know, the the apostle Ella Tahar said that, you know, brothers should be in that three videos a day spirit, you know. No and he was he, he was sure to say that, you know, this is not an order, but so many men have gotten offended over that and the elder um video you know that it, it's um it's it's <clears throat> it begs the question where do where where do these men where do their allegiance lie yo? what is their main purpose of being in this truth is it to do the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai right or is it to gain the praise or a praise of men or or is it to gain a title in the truth Right, because you have some men, as the brother Zion, you know, referred to, some men are, are actually lying about the amount of years that they've been on the highways and the byways, you know, which is, which is really petty, right? So you're you're telling a lie based on the fact that you want to be called an elder, right? So that, that means that you you you're chasing after this position of authority, and why? Why are you doing it? So that you might receive praise of men so you so you can have other brothers call you elder. Right? That's it. That's all it is, yo. Right? Men like these, right, the, the scripture warns against yo. There and there are some simple fundamental scriptures that warn against having this mindset, yo. These men are not men of the Lord, yo, and if they don't repent, they will be thrust out of the truth, yo. Right? Because as the brother Zion said, and as the apostles and elders have been saying, you know, we're in a serious time, yo, and the Lord is about spring cleaning, yo, weeding out these, these, these niggas who are just that, niggas, right? We're not about any selfish, you know, self-serving niggas who just want to get some attention, yo, some attention-seeking whores, basically, yo. We're not about that in GMS, yo. We're about sincere, humble brothers who actually want to do the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, who seek to be vessels meet for the master's use. Alright? Now let me get a precept. This is um is Ecclesiasticus, the book of Sirach, from the Apocrypha, chapter 10. Let me start at verse um 20. Among brethren, he that is chief is honorable. Can so the apostles and the elders are honorable. Those are honorable men, yo. So are they that fear the Lord in his eyes. The fear of the Lord goeth before the obtaining of authority, but roughness and pride is the losing thereof. Right, the, the, um, the, the brother Karatazar from, the, from the, 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 the Florida camp, the Orlando camp, sent this precept to me years ago, yo. Right, and it's always resonated with me. The fear of the Lord goeth before the obtaining of authority, but roughness and pride is the losing thereof. I can guarantee you that every elder right, in GMS did not seek out that title. Yo. I can guarantee you that camp leaders did not seek out that title. Yo. Right? It was set up through the Spirit. All these things are set up through the Spirit. As the scripture said, the fear of the Lord goeth before the obtaining of authority. But if you're pride, yo, if, if you're proud, yo, Right? If you go after these, these titles with pride, if you want authority, if you want to get authority through pride or roughness, the opposite is going to happen, yo. The Lord is going to thrust you out, yo. 
You're going to lose that authority because you never had it to begin with, yo. Because the Lord is not the one that promoted it. You promoted yourself, yo. You promoted yourself. Right? This is Luke 14 and verse 11. Salakia, Luke 14 and verse 7. And he put forth a parable to those which were bidden when he marked how they chose out the chief room, saying unto them, when thou art bidden of any man to a wedding, sit not down in the highest room, lest a more honourable man that thou be bidden of him, and he that bade thee and 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 he that bade thee and him come to thee and say, Give this man place that and thou begin with shame to take the lowest room. But then thou art bidden go and sit down in the lowest room that when he that is that that bade thee cometh, he may say unto thee, Friend, go up higher. Then shalt thou as worship in the presence of them that sit at meat with thee. For whosoever exalteth himself shall be abased, and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. And the scripture speaks for itself, yo. The scripture speaks for itself. Alright, there's, there's no need to comment on it, yo. This is, um... <clears throat> Alright, where was this again now? Yeah, this is Ecclesiastes chapter two, chapter 3. Let me start at verse 18. It says, The greater thou art, the more humble thyself, and thou shalt find favor with the Lord. Right? So, if you notice the spirit of the apostles and the elders, those are humble men, yo. Those are humble men. Even though, you know, the, the, apostle, um, the apostles will, will, will come off firm, firmly a lot of time and with vigor, right? It's, it's a necessity of the position, yo. In, when you are in a position of authority, it's natural that you need to take on an austere nature. But those men are humble, yo. Right? I've personally talked with the Ella Yashawamba a, a few times, and, and, and he's a very humble brother, yo. He's a very humble brother, that, that, and you can reason with him about, about, about anything, yo. Right? You know, he's a very down to earth and humble brother, and I'm sure that brothers who've interacted with the apostles. You know, on a one-on-one -on -one level, they can tell you that those men are humble, yo. Right? So the scripture said, The greater thou art, the more thou humble thyself, right? And thou shalt find favor with the Lord. Many are in high places and of renown, but mysteries are revealed unto the meek. For the power of the Lord is great, and he is honored of the lowly. Right? Seek not all the things that are too hard for thee, neither search the things that are above thy strength. Some men are searching out being an elder when that's above their strength, yo. Right? The simply put, yo, you're not meant to be, you don't, you don't, you're not made up of the right material to be an elder. But you want to be just because you want somebody to call you that, yo. Right? You know, I, I don't want to run too much. I believe the point has been made. You know, the Akim, the guard against pride, yo. Guard your spirit against pride with these precepts, yo. Pray to the Lord, yo. How about Shem, yo, Shai? You know, to give you that meek and humble spirit, yo. Because there were, they were, they have been brothers, you know, in my camp who um, often have referred to me as Ella. And, you know, that, that, that has been corrected, yo, you know. And it, it never felt right in, um, in my spirit, yo. Right? And all that has been corrected, yo. Right? Hey, David said he'd rather be a... He, he would love to just be a, a, a gatekeeper in the kingdom of heaven, yo. Right? Because at the end of the day, right, Ella or not, if you are sincere in this truth and you fear the Lord, right, you will be delivered, yo. You will have a space on those chariots, yo. Right? Those spaces are not reserved for only Ella's, yo. Those spaces are reserved for the elect. So just because you're not an elder doesn't mean that you're not a man of the Lord, doesn't mean that you're not in this truth, yo. If your heart is sincere toward the Lord, and you have that fear, right? And you want to be a vessel made for the master's use. If, if you yearn to hear Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai say, This is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. If these are the things that drive you, then you will be delivered, yo. You will be glorified. And the time will come, yo. 